while South Korean leader Lee Myung-bak hosted Israeli President Shimon Peres. On the South Korean streets, the Israeli diplomat was hardly welcomed. About 50 people representing dozens of civic organizations protested his visit and its timing. The Israeli president's visit to South Korea is wrong and very inappropriate. Vietnam canceled the Shimon Peres visit due to criticism from the international community over the Gaza incident. Also at Sweden's port, workers are refusing to transport Israeli trade. At least, they should think of the condemnation of the international community, and they should cancel or delay the Israeli president's visit to South Korea. Other activists decried the growing trade in goods and weapons between the two sides. Protests broke out around the world following the Israeli military's recent attack on an aid flotilla, which left at least dozens dead. Some media reports said the visit may jeopardize South Korea's efforts at the UN Security Council. Seoul seeks to punish North Korea for supposedly sinking one of its warships. However, some analysts suggest accepting Perez was the right move from a diplomatic perspective. It can certainly be interpreted as, as taking the side of Israel, which I think it is not. I think in many ways going ahead with accepting uh, the visit uh, by Paris is in many ways staying more neutral. Uh, in this discussion. Again, what I want to emphasize is this is not a visit by the political leadership. That, I think, would be more controversial. Recent announcements by Israeli officials regarding easing the siege on Gaza may indicate some desire to evade controversy, but not necessarily deal with the underlying issues behind the international condemnation dogging the country's touring president. While several nations shunned Israel for its deadly raid on a humanitarian flotilla, the conservative administration of Lee Myung-bak here in South Korea welcomed President Shimon Peres. But this visit was against the wishes of many South Koreans, as civil society around the world demonstrates its desire for Palestinian rights. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.